Hello, welcome back to another episode of A Detailer's Perspective. My name's James and I'm the content creator of Valet Pro. I'm joined with Elliot, the detailer for Valet Pro, and today we're going to talk you through the interior cleaning process. As you can see, I'm just going around the car here, just having a quick look inside. And that's for anything, you know, large and... Yeah, just if there's any rubbish or anything in the car that I can take out or anything like that. So okay. now I'm taking out the, the floor mats. So it's just something I do. If I'm doing an interior detail, then I'll just, all the floor mats come out straight away. I find if you leave the floor mats in and start hoovering, you know, a lot of people just sort of go around the edges of it. You know, if there is anything that underneath the seats or underneath the floor mats dirt that's been left, then, then you'll miss those bits. So just good practice, take them out and then you can do a good deep clean of the carpets. Winding back the seats here, and that's just so that you can get, you can create a bit of a gap if you wind them back. So any dirt or coins or anything like that that gets wedged in that sort of corner of the seat, uh, you can get right in there. I suppose, depending on whether you're working on the front or the back, you will adjust the seat yeah. accordingly. Now, a lot of cars are going to have sort of hidden features like that, you know, adjustable supports. Yeah. Um, so it's probably good just to get familiar with where they are before you do work on, on a car or even if it's your own car. Yeah. Um, just so you can take advantage of that and it'll make your cleaning life a little bit easier. Okay. So I've got the, the soft brush there. So it's our ultra soft chemical resistant brush. So that won't scratch the leather. But I'm just using that just to sort of dust out the edges you know, get any bits of ingrained dirt that get uh, sort of caught in the stitch lines. So leather soap. So this is great. This is a, it's like a quite a jelly sort of like a gel based product. So it's not like some of the other water based leather soaps. Uh, so this, you get a lot longer dwell time uh, and this is a great cleaner for leather. Does this require much working in or do you sort of leave it to um, sink into the leather by itself. So apply it with the sponge, applicate the sponge there uh, and then you can leave it for a little bit and then we've also got a, a leather brush too which you can use to agitate the soap. The thing with uh, leather seats is as well is uh, I've seen on a few uh, sort of posts and videos in the past people putting dressings onto leather to make it shiny because uh, everyone thinks that shiny leather is clean leather but it's not. Clean leather is actually a matte finish. Yeah. So you'll know when your leather gets shiny, that's because of, that's because it's dirty. So we like to say oils from your sort of skin, your hands, uh, just transfer and things like that. So uh, clean leather is, is a matte leather. So you'll see after we've finished here, or I've finished here, uh, that the leather actually comes up matte. The cloth skin, you know, a bit of what looks like dirt. Is that actually dirt or is that some sort of transfer from dye? No, that's, that's the dirt, that's the dirt coming off the seats. So wow. that's the, the leather soap pulling the dirt out of the grain of the leather. Right. All of that from your back. <laughs> it's got leather door cards on it as well. So obviously these are quite high contacted areas, you know, especially on the handle. So you're going to get lots of oils from your skin and dirt from your skin transferred onto this leather. And, you know, people leaning on it, using it as an armrest. So mm -hmm. again, I'll, I'll make sure I clean those parts of it. Yeah. There's a, a bit of Alcantara in this as well, which we'll cover on in a bit. So we've got a, our special cleaner for Alcantara, which is advanced interior cleaner, which is pH neutral. So again, in the, in the sort of heavily sort of trafficked areas, so you know, where you're, you know, quite a lot of contact so getting the brush in there, getting all the dust out. Again, ultra soft brush, so it's not going to scratch any of those plastic trims. Yeah, so you can be quite fiddly um, under the buttons. So I suppose using a hoover with the brush. Yeah, because the brush, obviously, big plastic ends on it. You could you could quite easily scratch that plastic trim. So if you just hover the hoover over the top and then just use the brush to agitate that dirt out, as that dirt flings out of those corners, the hoover will just suck it up. Mm. So on the plastic um, step there and the pedals, we've got all-purpose cleaner. So that's the ready-to-use version. And I'll switch there to the boar's hair brush, which is called the large sash brush. So that's a slightly stiffer brush. So that's ideal for sort of agitating like pedals and, and plastic foot trims and stuff like that. Yeah, especially on these pedals. That was a mixture of rubber and metal. So you yeah. quite a lot of, you know, sort of dirt can get trapped in those. 
Yeah, so it, again, uh, plastic trims, all-purpose cleaner, and the sash brush, agitate that. Just a bit of a dust off on most of those areas, wasn't too dirty to be fair. Again, that's the lower part of that is plastic, so all-purpose cleaner, sash brush, agitate it, get it out. A lot of scuffs and things on those where people tend to like kick it just as they get out of the car. Uh, so just give it a good clean there. Again, wasn't too dirty, so didn't need sort of loads of cleaning. So advanced interior cleaner, so pH neutral. That's the ready to use version. So this has the half lever, half Alcantara steering wheel, as you can see, uh, especially with, you know, these, these steering wheels can go flat uh, very quickly. So advanced interior cleaner. Uh, this one was quite bad, so it needed a lot of agitating. I ended up in the end um, doing it a few times. Yeah, we're not gonna show the whole process of Elliot cleaning that uh, bottom half of the steering wheel. Um, it'd be a very long video if we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the first pass. That's it. That's it. So at first, I didn't want to use anything too harsh on it, so I just used the the microfiber cloth. Uh, but the top part was really quite bad, so I had to use our in exterior, interior and exterior brush just to agitate it. But I used it very very gently, so I didn't put any pressure on it at all. I just used it just to, to get into the into the fibers a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and and to be fair, I don't know if the video will show it up, but. The difference between before and after on the steering wheel was, was night and day. It really did come up nicely. And you can feel that as well, can't you, Alcantara? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it dried out, you could feel it was soft and sort of like fluffy again, where before it was very sort of, felt very waxy and, and yeah. matte. I find leather and soap extremely effective. I mean, on the steering wheels in, in particular. Um, yeah. Because you get a ton of wear. Well, this is it. Again, it's just, it's just a heavily contacted area, isn't it? Yeah creates that sort of new finish. That's it. When the when I dropped the car back eventually, the uh, the customer actually thought that we had uh, changed the steering wheel. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Advanced interior cleaner again. This has got the, the 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 famous Audi Volkswagen soft touch coatings. Uh, so you don't want to use anything too harsh on that because you'll see, in, especially in the older ones, uh, these soft touch coatings start to peel up. Oh, right. um, so using something that's pH neutral means that you won't break down that it's almost like a rubberized sort of like coating that goes over the top right. and you see a lot in the older cars that it starts to peel up after time so just by using a, a pH neutral cleaner on there you know that you're not going to sort of degrade that in any way yeah. so this advanced interior and the carpets so they weren't necessarily dirty but I was going to uh, seal, uh, fabric seal all the uh, carpet so I thought if I just give them a quick 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 spray quick brush and then a hoover out uh, that also then makes them damp which is best applied for the fab seal is best applied to a damp surface yeah. to help it sort of uh, grab yeah that makes sense it's more the edges that I suppose you need to focus on when you're through in this part you normally have the mat there mm. then in the edges you know okay. you will get trapped up Speaking of mats, here's the first one. So yeah, onto the mats now. So first of all, just hoovering them while they're dry. Get rid of all the sort of like the big bits of dirt that's stuck in there. And then we give them a spritz with the advanced interior cleaner. And how liberally do you want to spray that? pH it's again, it's pH neutral, so you can't overuse it. So I don't want to sort of saturate the mats and soak them. Uh, but you want to get a sort of a good amount on there for cleaning. Yeah. And this product and the brush, is this sort of, um, is this, in what way is it cleaning it? Is it bringing up trapped dirt? Yeah, um, so it's just getting into the, getting a bit deeper into the fibres right. uh, of the carpet. So yeah, it's just it's just helping agitate the project into the uh, into the carpet and just bringing up any dirt that's sort of a bit lower down, stuck in you know stuck in the lower fibres of it. Sure. And whilst that's um, you know just drying a little bit, not too much before we apply the fab seal, and we got the leather protector. That's it. Yeah. So they're just waiting for this, the 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 mats just to dry a little bit, 
Uh, so the leather soap's already been done on the, all the seats. So now I was just going over everything with the leather protector. So I spray it onto the applicator sponge uh, and then let that sort of set. Uh, once you see it's just start to flash, and uh, then you can just give it a buff with a cloth yeah. uh, to get a nice even finish and coating. That leather protector, if you applied it sort of, you know, onto freshly clean leather, that should last you a good couple of months. So if you spill any sort of like drinks or anything on there, you should see that just sort of bead on the leather. Oh, wow. uh, and it will also protect. It won't protect it from actual dye transfer, but it will definitely help prevent the dye transfer. Uh, and then in case of if it does transfer on there, then it will sit, the dye, tra the dye from jeans will sit onto the protector rather than the leather. So when it then comes to cleaning the, the dye off, it's a lot easier to clean. Yeah. So classic protectant, so it's our silicon based uh, plastic dressing. So this can be used for engine bays and interior plastics. Uh, the trick is with this one, again, because it's a silicon and it's a trigger, you don't really want to be spraying that all inside the car. So I'll spray that onto a sponge so it's a lot more controlled. And then, then from the sponge onto the, so you don't get it all over the glass and all over other areas that you don't want silicons to be. Yeah. So the back of those seats were plastic. So again, bit of protector on there. It creates a, a slight gloss. Yeah, it? yeah, not not a high silicon gloss that sort of gives you that that sort of oily looking sheen, uh, but it just gives it a little a slight gloss on there, uh, and you can buff it with a cloth as well. So if you don't want a, a gloss finish, then you can buff it with a cloth, uh, and you will get rid of that that glossiness. Yeah. Again, as you can see, the fact that I'm applying it with a sponge means it's a lot more controlled. Then give it a quick buff off just to level the coating. And you can create a bit more of a, a satin. That's it, yeah, feel. just a bit more of a, a clean sort of OEM finish rather than the whole sort of like uh, silicon shiny dash. Yeah. Well, that's the beautiful thing about it though, you know, you're in control of um, how, how you want the finish to, to appear. Yeah. And one of the final steps putting the mats back in place. That's it. Freshly cleaned and sealed floor mats going back in. And then I suppose you're just looking over. Yeah, quick inspection. final inspection, make sure I've not missed anything. It's looking good. Pictures for the gram. Best part. <laughs> That's job done. Thank you for watching the final episode of A Detailer's Perspective. We uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure many of you sort of already know sort of most of the main steps, but anyone that didn't know, I hope there's a lot of things that have helped you in these videos. If there's any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, any ideas, uh, we're more than happy to take ideas off people for, for another series. Till next time.